All right, so you clicked on this video because you want to know the best manual settings for your DJI Avatar. Well, let me go ahead and put them right here. If you're going for a more cinematic style, I'm gonna recommend you use these settings right here. And if you're going for more of a freestyle, kind of doing your backflips and your rolls, then I'll recommend these settings right here. Now, if you're wondering why I use these particular settings and how to set custom settings of your own, watch this video all the way to the end and I'll break down each individual setting and show you how you can get the best setting on your DJI Avatar just for you. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Dane Visuals and on this channel, I wanna teach you guys about drone videography and cinematography in general. So if that's something that interests you, please feel free to go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can know whenever I make more videos just like this. Now back to the video. Now in order for me to explain to you guys about the manual settings for you to use, I'm gonna to have to do a slight breakdown of the basic controls of the drone. So I'm just go ahead and have the drone up here and I'm gonna go through the four settings or the four basic settings, right? All right, great. So we have the drone in focus. Now the first thing that I want to explain to you guys is gonna be on the right stick. The right stick controls pitch and roll. So pitch is basically the aircraft leaning forward and back. So when you move the right stick forward, the aircraft does this. This is called your pitch axis. It can go back like this or forward like this. The other item on that is roll. So when you roll the aircraft, the aircraft does this, side to side. So it basically rolls over. So these are both the settings that are gonna be on the right hand side of the stick, right? That's when you're flying uh, mode two. Hopefully you guys know what mode two is, but basically mode two has both the pitch and the roll on the right stick. So this is the pitch. Moving the stick forward will bring the drone like this. Moving the stick back will bring the drone like this. Pushing the stick to the right will do like this. Pushing it to the left will do like this. The next stick is the left stick and the left stick is gonna have throttle as well as yaw. So throttle basically pushes the drone motors forward. So when the more throttle you put on the drone, the more speed it will have in whichever direction. So imagine that if the drone is leaning forward and you add throttle, then it's gonna lean forward more. If it's leaning back and you add throttle, it's gonna lean back more. So throttle is basically the power on the motors. It's not a particular direction, it's just how much energy you're giving to the drone. And then the next function on the drone would be the yaw. So yaw is basically turning the drone left and right. So it's different from roll, it's literally going left and right. So I think if you've flown in FP before, you'd have an idea of what this is. But just giving you an initial breakdown before I go into the rates explanation. So now that you have an idea as to how pitch, roll, yaw, and throttle works, now I can actually go ahead and explain the rates part. If you're on the DJI Avata, you're gonna to have to swipe left from the um, touch panel. Then you're gonna go down to settings. You're gonna to go to settings, then you're gonna to go to control, then you are gonna to go to, you're gonna to go to remote controller, and then you're gonna to go to gain slash expo. The first setting that you're gonna see under this menu is called center sensitivity. Now what sensor sensitivity basically is, is on the controller itself, right? In the middle, the middle is how you keep the controller aligned, right? So what sensor sensitivity is, it is basically giving you a little bit of wiggle room. So pretty much when you have a high sensor sensitivity, that means that a slight movement out of the middle of the, out of the center of the um, where the stick should be will be noticeable. So basically it's gonna increase how sensitive it is to the movement. So when you have a lower number, it basically says, okay, the drone isn't gonna be as reactive as soon as you move your sticks out of the center. So it will give you a little bit of buffer room because basically if you're trying to fly straight, you're gonna to need to have a little bit of like wiggle room because your hands are gonna always stay perfectly still. So when you have a lower sensor sen center sensitivity, it's almost like you're telling your drone, I might make some slight um, micro shifts, but don't react to those because it's not that I'm trying to do a quick movement. It's just that I am trying to have, you know, a little bit of margin for error pretty much. So center sensitivity 
is just allowing you to have some more dead zone in the center of where your control sticks are so that when you're trying to keep them leveled and in the middle even if you move a little bit it won't affect so the higher the sensitivity the less dead zone you have the lower the sensitivity the more dead zone you have so imagine that if you're trying to get those more cinematic shots you're going to want a little bit more um, sorry, a little less center sensitivity because you don't want all your movements or your micro jitters to be picked up on the controller sticks. You're going to want to have a little bit of freedom, a little bit of wiggle room before you start moving very fast. While if you're doing freestyles, you want the drone to be very receptive to what you're doing. So that's just when you're going to want to have a high center sensitivity because you're going to want the drone to be very responsive. So that's something you should note. Now the next setting that you're going to see is going to be called max rate. Now max rate is basically going to say what is the maximum that the drone can go at this particular direction whether it's pitch roll yeah when the stick is pressed all the way. So for instance if you put it on 500 that means the max of the drone is going to be at 500. So let's say we're using the roll as the example. So max rate just means if I was to um, push this all the way over to the right, what's the fastest that the drone will go? So the max rate is going to determine the levels on the stick. So basically if your max rate is on a high number, then that drone will be maxed out at that number. If it's on a lower number, then the drone is going to move slower. So just like center sensitivity, you're going to adjust your max rate based on how you're going to be flying. So for instance, if I'm doing cinematic movements, I'm not going to want the fastest max rate. I'm going to want a relatively slower max rate so that way I can actually get, you know, those gradual, slower cinematic movements. If I'm doing a bunch of freestyles, a bunch of flips and tricks, I'm going to have, I'm going to want to have a higher max rate because I'm going to want to be able to move fast and agile and get what I need to get and get out of there. You know, if you, maybe if you're following some, if you're doing like a, um, a race car rally shot, you're going to, want to have faster max rates. So you're going to set your max rate based on what you're shooting. So just try to think about what's your subject, what are you trying to get and adjust it accordingly. And the last setting is going to be exp EXP or EXPO. And EXPO basically allows you to have like either a linear response rate or a curve response rate. Now to break that down simple, imagine that the moment that you press this stick, the drone will just shoot off, right? Like the drone just basically one to one. So any movement that you register on this, the drone is going to respond to it immediately. That's going to be a linear response rate. Now a curve response rate or a gradual response rate is basically when you move this, the drone doesn't immediately shoot off. It takes time as you go up. So it's not going to be like a straight line going up. It's going to be like a slight curve gradually going up. So how EXP works is this. The higher the number, it's going to be a bigger curve. So a higher number means that the drone is going to gradually get to that um, response rate. So it's good. a higher number means a bigger curve, so it takes a while for the drone to register your movements. A lower number means a very linear curve. That means the drone is going to respond immediately. So as soon as you do something, the drone is going to be like, bam, let's do it or the, the, um, the higher number is gonna be like, okay, let's take our time. So that now is gonna be based on your, how you operate your sticks. So it's gonna, that is gonna be based on your individual input. EXP is really all about how you like to move the sticks. So you're gonna set that based on you. So while you might want to set specific um, max rates and center sensitivity for general types of flying, the EXP is really just based on how you operate your sticks. So if you're holding your sticks with like your pointer fingers like this, you're going to be more precise versus if you're doing like this, like normal drones. So you set those rates based on you. Now that you have an idea of what the rates do, then now you can actually customize them each time you're flying. There really are no set rates to use. The truth is your rates are going to change based on what you're shooting. If you're doing a nice slow cinematic shot, you might want to do more slower fine tuned rates. So you can get in you know those slow nice cinematic movements not a lot of like jumping around flipping around but maybe if you're just going for a nice freestyle through like an abandoned building 
you're going to want the drone to be very responsive to be quick and agile so that you don't crash into anything all right so now you have an idea as to how to set the best manual settings on your dji avatar if you guys want to know how to get the best camera settings let me know in the comments if you want to see that video also if you watch this video all the way to the end the youtube algorithm says you're going to love this video right here